Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's topic is array count values. That's a PHP array function. So what it does, it gives us the number of count each element is occurring. Like array items as key it will return and count of the items as its value. It's going to return a array. So let's see this by example. Let me create array, write PHP tag inside that write demo array equals array. I'm going to pass string values. So let's write some item. Let's say item one, item two, item two again, item four, item one, item two, so now let's write array count values and inside that pass demo array print this now let's go and see in browser so you can see item 1 is 2 times item 2 is 3 times and item 4 is 1 time so let me print demo array as well write pre after that print demo array and give a break in between both of the array now again let's go to browser now you can see even more clear that item 2 is occurring three times and that item that is value for first one is now key for the output array that we are seeing and the count is its value so now let's check for a numeric value let's all pass numeric i'm just quickly passing any random values now after defining numeric values Let's go in browser and check. Refresh. So it's also working for numeric values. It's giving that one is occurring two times. So now let me go and pass some mixed values like string as well as numeric. So write hello in between. Write hello again. And at last, write world. So now let's see in browser. So it's also working for mixed values, like it's giving hello two times, world is one, and also numeric. So now mm, let's check for multidimensional, like if it will work for multidimensional or not. So I'm just taking string values create one element then write another php array function then create one another that will be let's say learn array functions and now let's see and check in browser so it's giving us an error only string and integer values should be passed so multi-dimensional it's giving us error uh, let me just pass only the first row let's say that is zero so let's see if that's also given error so that's giving us an output as a normal array is passed in that now let's check for associative array as well so remove zero from the de demo and create first that is hello with the key and value is test second pass let's say hi and value as hello after that let's say third two goes to world also remove brackets 
so now let's go and see so you can see test is now taken as key hello world but actually there is no like repeated so let me just change to to hello uh, okay I just changed the key I need to change the value so just pass test change world to test so now you can see test is two times and hello is one time so in this video I have shown you how you can use array count values I hope this video is helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching